What are the top things to do when visiting the USS Midway Museum in San Diego? Find out next. What's up, Jaycationers? We are here at the USS Midway Museum in San Diego, California. Today we're going to go explore this large aircraft carrier. It was the largest ship for over a decade in the 1940s, I believe. Uh, we'll fact check that when we get inside. Now, we're going through this during the pandemic. Special thanks to the USS Midway Museum for having me here. And we're going to go through all the COVID protocols to get inside and explore. If you guys haven't subscribed to Jaycation yet, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please leave a comment. Have you been to the USS Midway Museum before? What are other military-based museums that you have hit up all around the United States? I wanna know in the comment section below. Let's find out how the USS Midway does its COVID protocols. Here in the USS Midway, a face covering is required, so make sure you have a face covering. Uh, temperature and wellness check so I'm sure they'll be taking your temperature before you pre-board and physical distancing stay six feet and also wash your hands often that's important and that's the usual rules around this time of the pandemic so there's nothing uh, too crazy on their procedure so it looks like admission is $26 for an adult $10 if you're a veteran 22 bucks as a senior 18 for a student 13 to 17 12 dollars youth so they do have these markers right here. All right, here's the temperature check station. Temperature check done, 97.0. Now we're walking in, really easy. Nice gentleman there, said I could record, but it's kind of hard to record with my hat on. I really like this too, check your six. Come on, stop Perfect, thank you. Thanks for the bag check. Here's the ticket scan. Perfect, thank you. Over this way? Awesome. Hi. <laughs> Jaycation. Jaycation, yeah. I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> nice. Yeah, let me see again. Mag subscribe po. Mga kababayan sa USS Midway. <laughs> so that was really cool. Got to talk with the fellow Filipinos here and a ton of Filipinos work on board the USS Midway and went through all the checks. They do the temperature check. They do a bag check. They even have plastic uh, liners around there. And then it says, check your sticks because they want you to stay six feet apart at all times. And it's not busy at all. This is like 11 o'clock in the morning here. Looks like they got these Purell stations here. You gotta have that. You wanna get it on your phone or you can just get the device? Um, I'll get the device. Great. So when you walk in, you grab your audio guide, which is free and included, and then you get a VIP photo when you enter. So you get a lot of information about the Battle of the Midway. US lost 307 personnel, and Japan was defeated, and they lost a significant more. So far, I'm noticing Purell stations about every 15 feet, which is great. They have the audio guides which they sanitize and they have outside for you to pick up. When you have this audio guide right here, this audio guide, all you simply have to do is go up to one of these things and tap it and then it'll tell you. So this is the SNJ pilot trainer. So the Purell stations, look at that, are about every 20 feet apart. I'm filming this video a few days after this other ship, about four or five miles down the bay here in San Diego, caught on fire, the USS Bonhomme Richard. And actually, they were still trying to put it out until yesterday. I could actually smell the burning plastic from my house, which I'm about 15 miles away from where the ship was burning. Fortunately, no one died from the fire. Look at how spaced all these tables are and you get a beautiful view of San Diego Bay and you can order food at the cafeteria nearby. Now it looks like all the max flight simulators where you can actually fly a plane are not in use right now and understandable during the pandemic. All right guys, now we're gonna head over to the flight deck and you get two choices, elevator or stairs. 
taking the stairs today. All right, and listen to the directions. Two-way traffic, single file only. This looks like a mini first aid kit pod. Yeah, emergency equipment. So the USS Midway Museum has been here since 2004, and this is my first time ever going here. I always drive by it. It's probably because the ship, you don't drive alongside it, along the length of it. You, you drive along the width, and you don't even notice it. You only see the cafe at one of the decks. So I used to run here all the time and see the USS Midway, and it's part of all the postcards in San Diego. But this is my first time ever visiting it, and it is huge. Another thing that you should take advantage of here is the volunteer docents that talk about the history of the planes, of the aircraft carrier, and everything in between. So if you have some time and you want to sit down, they have a shaded area where they'll talk to you for a few minutes about the history of the USS Midway Museum. This is the SH-2 Sea Sprite right here. It's crazy, they actually have mannequins throughout the museum, dressed up as pilots, sailors, and whatnot. You also got a beautiful view of San Diego Bay and the Coronado Bridge. Across the way from the bay is Coronado, and there's also a military base across the way, and there's another ship right there. And the USS Bonham Richard was over that way, past the bridge a few miles down, and it was burning for a couple of days. Another really awesome thing that they do here is that they have special events on top of this flight deck. They've had a home run derby for the San Diego Padres minor league baseball team here, where they'd launch balls off the top deck here into the bay. They've had wrestling competitions, basketball games. They also have Top Gun movie nights here. They have Tom Cruise impersonators come. You also get a very beautiful view of the San Diego skyline, which is one of the most underrated skylines in all of the United States, in my opinion, being a hometown boy. So unfortunately, the bridge tour is closed. I'm not sure if the bridge tour is closed due to the pandemic, but since it's inside, you probably, it's probably not open. I've always wanted to do this. Believe it or not, the first time I ever watched Top Gun in its entirety was during the beginning of the pandemic. Now that I've seen the famous scene, now it was probably in Miramar, which is called Fighter Town USA, but Tom Cruise was walking down the runway about to get onto his jet, and he goes, I feel the need, the need for speed, woo! I know, it's bad. Bad impersonation, guys. Check this out. This is the F4 Phantom II. I see these flying around my neighborhood all the time because I'm from Mira Mesa, which is right next to the Miramar base. And they're always flying around there. And look at that lightning bolt. Probably in memorial of my former football team, the San Diego Chargers. So these balconies right here, they're usually open, but they're fenced off right now. I'm guessing due to safety precautions. Still pretty far right down. This one's actually a flagship cruise. As you can see, that is roped off at the moment. I've seen a vlogger come here and go out to the very end of that balcony, but it's closed due to certain reasons and I'm not gonna question it. It's kind of scary to get there anyways. Once again, more Purell the better. I do feel really comfortable about this place because it's outdoors. You can walk up on the flight deck and everybody's spaced out practicing their six, staying six feet apart and it's not busy. Granted, it is midweek around 12 noon, but I don't think that there's gonna be that many people and that many crowds around this time of year that's usually coming to the USS Midway because of the pandemic. So if you're a local or you're visiting from nearby, the USS Midway is definitely not at full capacity and they actually have restrictions on how many people they let on board. Yeah, it's a really good place to explore, especially if you wanna get out the house and just get some fresh air and check out some cool things. Now this is what I've been looking for. You can find these designs on plenty of shirts, plenty of those stylish shirts. They're, they're made as patches on jackets and this is really famous, it's an F8. 
So the one other time I've ever been on a ship like this was at the naval base, which is a few miles down the road. I was dropping off a bunch of media guys and magazines to the ship and they did a full inspection of the car and I was dropping them off for my old work when I was working in the NFL for the San Diego Chargers. They actually held a practice on one of the top decks. And I just remember it being like a mini city. When I walked into the inside, I was like, wow, this place is huge. Also a little tip, if you bring your water bottle, you can refill your water bottle here at a hydration station. And surprisingly, they're actually open. So if you need to rehydrate, they're here for you. Otherwise you can buy at vending machines right next to it. So you usually give a tour over here. Yeah, yeah. And we can take groups of people through all of this um, island, which is where all the control of the ship is done from here. So this portion you see here is primary flight. They call it Pry Fly as a nickname. Uh -huh. And that's where the air officer is, or his nickname, the air boss. He's a commander in the Navy, a pilot. Okay, and he has an assistant, another commander pilot. Uh, they call the mini boss, and the two of them are in charge of that. So the air boss is responsible for all these airplanes on the flight deck uh, until they're five miles out, 2,500 feet up in the air. Still his responsibility for them. Masks have always been required to land on our flight deck. And then the bottom, thank you for wearing a face covering while on board the Midway. See that? Wear your mask, guys. That's all you got to do. I was talking to Ed, really nice gentleman. He's a docent here, He's giving me a little bit of an overview of the command area right here. And usually he gives tours of the inside, but due to the pandemic, the inside of that is closed and the inside parts of the museum is also closed off. So you can't see like the cafeteria, the medical bay and all the other parts. So we're going to have to come back eventually for that once that is all safe to venture around but there's so much more to see here than just the inside. And you feel safe, you're outside, you get fresh air, you have the perfect San Diego weather, and you get to see all these cool airplanes, helicopters. Now I ask you, sir, do you feel the need? The need for speed? Nice shades too, by the way. This right here is an F-18 Hornet. Look at this, it's even camouflaged. It matches my shirt. Look at this. You see me? You see me? This is actually a Padres camo jersey. Now our baseball team here in San Diego, my team, the San Diego Padres, on Sundays when they have home games, and they bring in the military to watch these games and they actually wear these camo uniforms. And this is a giveaway from back in the day. And I'm also wearing this Navy themed hat from the All-Star game back in 2016 when the All-Star game was here in San Diego. You might have seen that video if you're a Jaycationer. So check it out if you haven't yet and subscribe to my channel if you haven't either. Also, check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel even further. All right guys, so a couple of things I wanted to show you for, the, for this trip. First of all, I forgot, but bring headphones because you could actually attach headphones onto your audio guide and it'll be much easier for you to listen in on the headphones. But I also brought my Clorox sanitizing wipes so I could wipe down stuff like the audio guide, extra masks, and some water to stay hydrated. Now I'm gonna take a little sip of water right now because it's a little warm out here. Put the mask back on. That's enough from the top deck here. Now we're gonna head down to the hangar bay. Cool, they also have hand sanitizing wipes. And back into the hangar deck we go. The Midway Marketplace where you can grab some lunch. And Cafe 41 is usually open, but it's saying coming soon. Also, if you're looking for souvenirs, they have the jet shop right here. Let's pick up a magnet, why not? Even though we're from here, gotta support the local economy. Obviously, I don't usually record in the bathroom, but that was really cool. They have a soccer goalpost there on the uh, stalls and there is an attendant cleaning up at the restroom all the time. If you want to take home that photo you snapped right when you walked in, you go right to this bay and buy that picture.
So we're at the end. Thank you. Returned. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Permission to go ashore. All right, guys, so we're leaving the USS Midway Museum. Now, not everything is open right now, but there's more than enough to see. So if you're visiting San Diego, come here and check it out. Now it's time for a little bit of lunch, and we're going to step outside just around the Embarcadero to try out some tacos at a place called Carnitas Shack. And just like that, we are back on shore. Got my aviators on, and that was a great trip. A lot of Filipinos working up at the front, also cleaning around the ship. A lot of Filipinos in the Navy, especially here in San Diego. How are you guys? <laughs> you guys are wondering about parking, there is a parking lot right here. It's an ace parking lot. You can enter through it. I think it's about anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. Now, I parked on the street because I'm going to be eating lunch. I paid for three hours, which was $7 total, and I think it's about $2.50 an hour, something like that. So the governor of California just closed a bunch of places, including museums, but the USS Midway was able to stay open because it's considered an outdoor museum, and they had to just close down the indoor parts. I legit thought those people right there were real and they were looking at me on the way in, but those are just creepy mannequins that they have throughout this ship. There also used to be a cafe that, that overlooked this area right here, but I think they just moved it over to the side a bit. Now this used to be my running path. I ran from the Coast Guard station where there's free parking all the way to the Hilton and back. It's uh, six and a half miles. I don't know if I could handle six and a half miles right now. Now this is the Broadway Pier where you can get on a cruise ships to Ensenada, Ensenada, Puerto Vallarta. And I've never actually been on a cruise before, so maybe one of these days I can get on it. But you can also do these horn blower cruises around the bay where they have catered lunches and check out the beautiful views of San Diego. They too practice social distancing, masks required. And they have markers. All right, Jaycationers, so we are here at Carnita's Snack Shack, which is in the Embarcadero. I got my Clorox wipe. I'm gonna wipe down my part of the table and my seat. Gotta take all the safety precautions that you can. Now, I ordered the two Carnita's tacos, which was $9, and they'll actually bring it out to you. Now, these tables here, there's no standing allowed, and you can't have more than four guests per table, and they're actually really spread apart so I actually feel really safe and socially distant. Now, when you're sitting down to dine, you could actually take off your mask and start drinking and start eating. This is actually the fourth time that I've gone out since we've been allowed to go to outdoor seating restaurants. Check out these tacos. They look huge. They come in a plastic container here so you can take it home if you want. All right, guys, so we got the carnitas tacos. Now we're gonna spray the hand sanitizer. So they do give you some tapatio to put onto your carnitas tacos. And I'm gonna take them up on that offer because I love hot sauce. All right, so let's try this out. The carnitas tacos, and they're pretty stacked. For nine bucks, they should be stacked. Full of pork. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Nice and juicy. Pico de gallo. Guacamole. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, I love it. Just the right amount of spice. One might actually fill me up for the rest of the day. So there are a few carnitas snack shacks around San Diego, but this one on the Embarcadero, you gotta check out. Great outdoor seating and a nice portion of carnitas tacos. One taco already filled me up, so I'm gonna bring this other taco to eat at home. Parking's running out. I'm about 10 minutes till the parking runs out. So yeah, for 625 parking, not bad. Got to check out the USS Midway Museum, get carnitas snack shack. I'm gonna check out one more thing before we leave and sign off. Also looks like they have an outdoor bar here. So if you guys wanna have an outdoor bar and grab some drinks, they got that for you. Their dining area is also really widespread. Look, this is the other side of Carnita Snack Shack where the bar is. And they also have a little courtyard where you can eat. All right, Jaycationers, so that was the USS Midway Museum. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the top deck and everything else around it. 
During the pandemic, it is closed in some parts. You couldn't really go to the insides of the place. I'm gonna have to go back and check out those parts of the ship, but there's still more than enough to explore. I felt really comfortable over there with all their COVID-19 social distancing measures. They practiced safe distances. It was not busy at all, and I really enjoyed my time there. Now, if you wanna to go to the USS Midway Museum, check it out in the link below. And if you've been here before, tell me your story. What's your story? Are you in the military? Have you visited San Diego before? I definitely recommend going to the USS Midway Museum on your next trip. Now, this is a very famous statue here at the Bob Hope Memorial Park. Please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for updates on my newest videos. Please like and comment once again. And if you guys wanna support this channel even further and you like what I do, please go to my Patreon page and check out the different tiers you can support me by. I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.